was wondering when you'd show. Did you find Quintain? That's the thing. The good doctor has disappeared. You mean like the others? No, not like them. This one left a trail, but I'm gonna need your help, Trent. Are you with me? That's why I'm here. Count me in. Good. What do you know about Xenoarchaeology? Not much. Why? Just let me do the talking. And whatever you do, keep that artifact out of sight. I don't want to repeat performance of Manhattan. Anything else? Yeah. Bring the bottle. Very nice of you to see us on such short notice, Mr. Vance. When you said in your message that you and Dr. Trent were from the Hammer Research Institute in Liberty, I could hardly refuse. It's not entirely unusual for Dr. Quintain to miss an appointment now and then, even one regarding funding. We understand. We'd made it quite a while ago. I'm just pleased the university put me in touch with you. I do a lot of work for Dr. Quintain, shuttling people and equipment back and forth to his research sites. But I'm sorry, usually I can find him, but... You mean you don't know where he is? He doesn't know where he is. Ouch. Oh, he hasn't been around for weeks. Probably doing deep research. He doesn't always tell us. Dr. Sinclair doesn't even know where he is. Have you spoken to her yet? No. She's been doing field work for the professor for years. Has she? Do you think she'd mind if we looked her up? No. Funding is what these scientists live for. Well, that and a little recognition, of course. Of course. Can you tell us where Dr. Sinclair is now? Sprague. I'm afraid I can't get her a message, though. It's too far out. That's all right. We'll go to her. You've been very helpful, Mr. Vance. Thank you. I think Dr. Sinclair will be quite pleased. Last week, nothing. This week, you and the Rhinelanders. What Rhinelanders? From the New Berlin Museum. They're also very interested in their work. You just missed them. Uh-oh. We gotta move. Get whatever you need here on Cambridge and meet me in space. Don't take too long, Doctor. I won't. <laughs> Academics. <laughs>
Earth described Sprague as an unpopulated planet with no trade lane connections. We'll have to fly from here to Freeport One and then through open space. Dark. where we have to leave the trade lane. Incoming ships, be advised. Rhineland forces have set up blockades in Omega-7. No ships are allowed access to Rhineland space. All merchant vessels are to remain at Freeport 1 until the crisis is over. Freeport 1, we're on our way to Sprague to bring supplies to an archaeological expedition. Have you detected any Rhineland ships in the area? Negative, but Sprague lies beyond our patrol routes. If you are attacked, we won't be able to send help. Understood. Thanks for the warning. Trent, I've uploaded the coordinates to Sprague into your neural net. Come on. The situation is really getting out of control now. A blockade in Omega-7? Rhineland is now in direct violation of the Borman Treaty. The colonies haven't been this close to an open military conflict since the 80-year war between Rhineland and the GMG. Vance gave me the frequency of the dig site beacon. I'm not picking up a signal yet. We probably have to get closer. Almost there. Still no signal. We made it. You duck first, Trent. Violent ships! Where did they come from? Break an attack! and get 
Trent and Claire the hell out of here. I hope we're not too late. You first, Trent. We have to hurry. I have a bad feeling that there are more of them out there somewhere. Too late? We have to find Sinclair and get the hell out of here. And you say you got this where exactly? A thief on Manhattan. He was killed because of it. Now those same people are after us. We were told you could help. Look around you, Miss Zane. You are standing in the living history of the Dom Kavash, a race that predates early man by over 10 million years. Up until recently, relatively speaking, they were the inhabitants of much of our new home here in Sirius. I've been working for years to piece together fragments of their past, their culture, technology, language, anything. These panels here have been the core of my research. They've shed light on some of their writings, but thanks to this piece, I'm close to unlocking their code. Yes, I know quite a lot about this artifact, but not why anyone would want to kill for it. Know anything about cloaking Rhineland ships? Mr. Trent, I am a scientist. I deal in facts, not fiction. Well, you better listen to the facts. A lot of people have died because of this trinket. There's something going on in the colonies. People are being killed. Others have disappeared, like your colleague, Dr. Quintain. Quintain hasn't disappeared. He's a recluse. He's gone under, that's what I think. And a man like him only goes under for a very good reason. I think he knew too much. This is ridiculous. Is it? We find out that Rhineland has an active interest in your research, and when we get here, we're attacked by Rhineland ships using a technology I have never seen before. Still not enough of a connection for you? How about that friends of mine, trusted people in the Liberty military assigned to stop illegal artifact smuggling, are gone, like they were never there? Maybe they knew too much, too. They just didn't see it coming like Quintain. Well, I do, and you should, too. And with him gone, that only leaves you. I figure those ships are coming back here soon and there's no telling what else they're bringing with them. You, Doctor, can either be a live scientist on the run or a dead one in the ground. Which will it be? I'm not leaving without my work. Besides, how do I know you aren't the enemy? Doctor, we've got over a dozen ships on our screen. I don't know what kind. We didn't see them coming. I told you they were coming back. Pack up what you can and send the others to the ships. Yes, Doctor. All right, I'm with you. Come on, we've got to go. Doctor, the panels have been loaded into Mr. Trent's hold. Good. Get clear while you can. They'll tear this place apart. Come on! Quickly, people! Let's move out! Shield 
I think we've managed to shake them for now. I hope you're right. Do you ever get tired of this? The running and fighting? No, this. Tell you the truth, I don't even pay attention anymore. It's a view like this that got me into xenoarchaeology in the first place. I thought, if the universe exists for eons, but I could only experience it for a brief moment of time, I wondered what a more ancient race must have thought of it. I wanted to live through them. If you're right and Quintain has hidden himself, that means he's still out there somewhere. What's that? They found us! We've got to get out of here! Where? Where are we going? The leads. I have a friend there. Come on. Repair complete. to cargo hold. Loaded into cargo hold. Loaded into cargo hold.
friend in Leeds. I'm sure the jump gate's being watched. Sinclair, what's your status? Any ideas how to get out of here? I'm okay. There's a jump hole to Cambridge nearby. That's our best shot. From there, it should be easy to get to Leeds. Okay, let's go. So tell me, why did you come here? Surely not just to return the artifact to me. Doctor, ever since Trent came in possession of the artifact, we've been hunted. First by the Liberty Navy, then Bounty Hunters, now Rhinelanders. Everybody seems to be after it, and we don't even know what it is. A friend told us that Professor Quintain might be able to shed some light on this. And Quintain has disappeared? His lab was destroyed. The only lead we could find was your pilot, Vance. He told us where to find you. There's the jump hole. Trent, you go first. Doc. We have to head to New London and from there to Leeds. I doubt the Rhinelanders will look for us here, but we need to stay sharp. Trent, take the lead. Head for the new coordinates. We need to know what's going on with this artifact. Why everyone's after it. No idea. I found it on planet Pygar and knew immediately that it was of great archaeological significance. I was scheduled to fly to Cambridge to get Professor Quintain's expert opinion. But then the artifact was stolen and I didn't even go to Cambridge. I actually haven't seen the Professor in years. Damn. I guess the best thing we can do is fly to Leeds and regroup. and they know that you're here in Cambridge. Why are you telling us this? Survival. We need you as much as you need us. We're heading to a jump hole that will take us directly to Leeds. It will be watched, but they are guarding it well because very few people know about it. Together, we might be able to fight our way through. I believe them. Fine. We're coming with you. Follow us. We're uploading the coordinates. What's the plan? Our wing was outfitted with cloaking devices. Strange looking things. They're part of a secret Rhineland weapons program. We'll cloak ourselves before we reach the jump hole. They will think that you're an easy target, but we'll give them a little surprise.
Commander Zane, Mr. Trent, we've been looking for you. Hand over the artifact and we will spare your life. Have it your way. All fighter wings, engage. Target their engines. It's a trap! Incoming torpedoes. Evasive maneuvers. We're hit! All hands! Standing shift! Ready! happened in Rhineland and I'm afraid the worst is yet to come. We'll fly to the Norfolk and give ourselves up. Hopefully someone in the Bretonia military will believe our story. Good luck to you. The trade lane to Leeds is near. We should go. Who are we meeting on Leeds? An old friend of Trent's. This will be interesting.
take the trade lane. We're almost there. Richard Winston Tobias Esquire, dear lady. Tobias sort of, uh, raised me. And from such humble beginnings, your head grew to its present size? We're all clear. Nobody followed us. Good. And who do we have here? Another girl? <laughs> Tell me, boy, what have you been doing? Tobias, we need a safe place to lay low for a while. Doctor, can you decipher the writing on the artifact? I can do most of it, but not alone. I need Quintain. Damn. Like it or not, Trent, if we're gonna get some answers, I think we're gonna have to find Quintain. I knew you were gonna say that. Look, this may take some time. Sinclair will do everything she can with her work, and I'll dig around for any leads on Quintain. You try and scare up some business, we could probably use the credits. Anyway, I can't have you lounging around here like a big ox waiting for things to happen. What? I can't remember when I ever saw such a vision of loveliness. Oh, brother. 